What is up guys and welcome to your weekly ratchet tip. My name is John and thank you so much for stopping by to hear me blab about stuff you probably already know. While you're here, why don't you subscribe? My tip to you this week is to get yourself a dedicated track toolbox. I'm sure you probably already have a toolkit at home. It might be nice and neat in a box or it might be messy. Who am I to judge? Whatever the case may be, you should be thinking about picking up a toolkit dedicated for track use only. The reasoning behind it is you won't have to pack it up. You can keep it in your truck or your trailer if you have an enclosed trailer and you don't have to worry about forgetting anything come track day. And let me tell you, it happens because one of these days you're going to be running late, your car won't run, something's broken, you're gonna be struggling to fix it and you're gonna get it done literally just in time. You're gonna pack up, you're gonna leave, you're gonna get to the track and you're gonna go, uh oh, I left stuff at the garage hours away. And then you might need a tool and you can't get it because somebody there doesn't have it, whatever the case may be, you're only gonna need the tools that you forget at your garage. So to combat all of that, why don't you just buy a toolkit that you keep in your truck or trailer, that way you have it on you at all times. Plus, even if you're driving your truck, you don't have your drift car on the back, whatever, you might be driving down the road and you have to pull over because something doesn't sound right. Well, guess what? You could fix it because you have tools in your truck. Sure, you might be able to borrow some stuff from a friend at the track, but why not just have your own? I have listed a couple kits down in the description that would be great for the track. A couple of these I have personally used. They might not come with everything you need, but you can always grab that stuff as well. I recommend going to Harbor Freight and picking up yourself an automotive toolkit. It'll come in a nice blow molded case, then there's pretty much more than you need in it, but it comes in handy. I mean, you're not really gonna find a better toolkit compared to the money, I guess, than you're gonna be getting with this Harbor Freight kit for the amount of tools, for the amount of money that it costs to get this kit. Then while you're there, you can pick up the rest of the stuff Stuff that doesn't come in the kit. So what do you need for your track toolkit? Basic hand tools, nothing fancy, sockets, extensions, hammers, screwdrivers, you know, stuff like that, ratchets, wrenches, whatever. Basic things that you're gonna be using every time you're working on your own vehicle at your own garage. You don't really have to worry about specialty tools because if you already have that stuff at your garage, there's really no point in buying another set of those like welders, jack stands, jacks, stuff like that. You could just bring that because that's easy enough to take from your garage because you don't have to worry about taking them out of your tool kit. Like for me, for instance, I have a ton of Snap-on and Mac tools at my job. I fix cars for a living, so I can't risk getting my tools stolen or lost or something, bringing them to a drift event. I have way too much money invested in them and it's just not worth the risk for me to bring them. So I'm better off having my own toolkit with cheaper, crappy tools that I get somewhere like Harbor Freight or Lowe's or whatever and just bring that stuff to the track instead. The kit you buy doesn't have to be expensive. You use them at the racetrack. Like they don't have to be the world's greatest tools. Plus, most tools have a lifetime warranty anymore, like hand tools anyway do. So if you break something, just take it back. Exchange it for a new one. They don't have to be expensive. I mean, you don't even have to listen to me. You can bring your own tools from your own shop. I don't care what you do. I'm just here to tell you what I think will help you out and make your life easier. That about does it for this week's tip. Check out the links in the comments and pick up the kit that's best for you. Let me know what you think. Do you think you need to get your own automotive toolkit or just use the ones that you currently have? Well, as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.